Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have completed our uh, so first uh, the events project and all the things we have completed. Let's move on to the next another new another new project we will develop it. So that is nothing but a grocery list. So here we are having a simple grocery list. I am trying to show you the demo how I will be implementing. So here we will be having like this adding an item and this is our grocery list. So here what are the items you are trying to add it. We need to show these all items here and here we need to show that zero items completed out of total zero total zero items. So here so we need to write something like milk packet. Okay and I will be selecting quantity one. Each one is around four dollars let's say and I will select a quantity of two let's assume. So now if I add it here so we are able to see milk and total quantity is two and each packet is four dollars so total price is eight dollars and here we haven't selected this one so these are all the groceries so let's say tomatoes so we need to check tomatoes let's say quantity two and each one is around one dollar okay let's say two dollars so we have added milk and tomatoes and we will add another one something like uh, anything uh, anything which whichever you want you can add it let's say coke so these are all the four four i want to select four cooks and the price is around three dollars so these are the three items which i need to select in the grocery list so three items is completed so now we need to select the items so total selected items are zero so this uh, sentence is wrong so we'll try to modify it in our project so here total zero items we haven't selected any item and the total price of these all the things are 24 but the selected price so the items which we have selected is zero only now so these are the grocery list which I need to purchase in a supermarket. So now I have purchased milk. So we can make it as a tick. So when you make it as a tick, automatically the one item is completed and the selected price is 8. Okay, so the selected item, so which we have selected item is 8. Now I have completed the shopping of tomatoes also. Tomatoes means, so three out of three items, so we have completed two items. So selected price is 12 out of 24. And if we select here, so total price is 24 and we have selected the price of 24 three items out of total three items we have selected three items so this is how we will be able to do it so this is the project and we will try to implement this one one by one okay so this is how we will be implementing this one uh, one one by one we will try to do this one so this is our project so let's try to implement this project by creating new one so I, I will be deleting this all the project we will start, we'll start with a new one. So let's start creating a new project here I am going to the command prompt so the same github repository in that in that repository directory only I am creating. Here in this one we will create npx create hyphen react hyphen app and at this time of this recording the create react app the version is 5. Uh, here we will write groceries list okay grocery list so just a small uh, example so we'll try to learn some of the new concepts in this project so it will take some time to create the project so let it create maybe it will take some couple of minutes so we have successfully created the project let's go into the grocery list so i am moving into the grocery list and i will open this one in our visual studio code uh, let's open this one in our visual studio code fine and here i am writing the npm start sorry npm start let's start the server so here we got it and here also in this one also we will try to see so right now it will not work why because so we have created a new project so this is our new project now we have this source right so let's go to the source app.js file so this is our code so i don't want to do anything so first we will try to analyze the project what we are trying to do it so for analyzing this project so i am creating a paint i am opening the paint so for creating the project just before creating i will try to tell you so we have the grocery list right so we have a header so we need to have a header component so we need to have a header so this is our header component and we need to create the item so adding an item so here we have according to the demo so we have an this one so this is called as an add item component okay so this is an add item component and this is our add item component and here at the side we need to show all the items list 
So whatever the items that has been added, we need to show it here. So this is an items list. So we will try to write it like this items list at the last at the end we will be having a footer okay so this is our footer so this is a footer and we can write it something like a footer here so this is our footer so this is total so here you will be showing each item one by one here here we will be showing each item so you can take it as a single item or item anything so this is a single item so these are the components which we which, which we will be creating so here we have header component we need to create a separate component here we have an add item so we need to create add item so this is our item list and we will be having our single item and the last one is the footer item so this is the project overview so like this we need to analyze before creating the project so we have created all the, we have added we have understood everything so let's try to create the components one by one now in this video, we will try to do is instead of doing all the instead of creating all the components in single app, uh, what I will do is I will copy, I will create a new folder here components. So we will try to do divide each one by one. So first what we need, we need to have a header. So let's try to create header.js. So this is one component. Let's create all the items, all the components and we need a footer. Okay, footer.js. We got the footer.js and another one is add item. So here we can say add item.js. So this is one thing. This is one component. And here in our uh, what I can say add item we have we got items list. Let's create an items list also. So here I will be creating items list. Mm, where is this one? Yeah, new file items list. Items list.js. And another one is single item. So we'll try to do it afterwards. So that's it, guys. So these are the mo most of things which we'll be using. And here, let's close this app.js and hopefully this one is created, I think. Oh, still it is taking time to start the server. Okay, let it take. And in our visual should occur. So here we are having our app.js, right? Let's move this app.js also into the components. Why? Because so this is also a uh, component only, right? This is our root component. Let's move this app.cs also into this one. And we don't have a, we are not concentrating on the test. Let's move this test also into this one. We'll keep only the index.js only outside. Okay, remaining all we have, we have moved into the components. So this is one step which we have completed. Now it's time for us to design the header. So let's go into the app.js. Okay, so let's go into the app.js. What I will try to do is I will re remove this all the code. Okay, and here I will keep something like new class name is equal to container. We will design this one all class name is equal to container. Inside this container, we need to have a header. So we have a header. So this is the header. Let's design this header. Let's go into this one. And here I will be creating a new export default function. And we'll be having this header. And we will return this due. This is header. That's it. And let's go to the app.js file. And we need to import this header file. Let's import this header file. We are done. And we need to, uh, let's see whether we are able to still this loading, let it load. Header is completed and we'll remove this logo also. So we don't, there is no need for us logo. App.css file also, let's clean it. Let's try to write some of the code inside this one also. Fine. <coughs> we will add in this one box sizing. Box sizing of border box I am using. And, and the body I will take and I will apply color. Uh, background color background color I will take a light color something like e and uh, what I can say font family font family I will use sans serif okay and the last one what I will do is font size so font size I will take around 20 pixel as the base font size so now fine everything is done so we have starting the development server everything is working fine still it is loading I don't know now the project is loaded so here we are able to see one error okay it's coming from the index.js file so here it should be in components i think in components slash app fine right now everything should be fine i am thinking i'm hoping so so let's go to the app.js and here we have added the header and here we are using export default yeah we are able to see this this is header so one one thing is completed so this is header is completed and let's design this footer also export default footer sorry this should be a function right so 
so function footer and we will return div sorry div uh, this is footer okay this is footer so footer is also done let's go to the app.js and include the footer also here footer okay we have included footer and according to our design what we need so for header and footer is design uh, is added and add item and items list also needs to be added okay let's try to go to the items list we have an items list yeah here and export default function items list sorry items list okay and here we can have written uh, items list so this is our items list i am writing the html and in our app.js so here i can add items list so this is also added and we need to add an add item okay add item also we need to show add item is residing here export default function add item okay leave it about that one add item and return div add item okay add item is done so this one is also done let's remove this one also so add item and if you go to the app.js app so here i am trying to add the add item yeah fine so these are the main things so here we have added we have added the details so this is header the add item item system footer so we have successfully created the components and we have added these all the links here so this is how we will be dividing all the components into a separate file so let in the next video what we will try to do is so we will try to design the header and footer and we'll do we'll plan one by one we'll do it so i will commit this all the code in a new branch that is uh, video hyphen 22 okay so groceries initial setup grocery project let's commit this all the code i am committing this all the code and publishing this branch also mm, let's publish this branch done so if you have any doubts or any suggestions we already have our uh, react 18 uh, github repository url so whenever you get a doubt and oh sorry this is not the thing react 18 so only i think so whenever you have a doubt or anything so go to this particular repository url the link is provided in the description below so for any reference of the code if you want to check it you can go and check it here so react iphone 18 iphone course you will be able to add we, we are able to add this one in our main i will i will add it here so the video 22 is also added in this one so hope you understood about this project setup so in the next video we will try to design this header and footer and all those things remaining components if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.